imagine an educational minister in an African country sending all his kids abroad to learn, to get education. What does that tell you? What is that education minister doing in his own country? But once you start banning like holidays outside of the country, they start thinking outside the box. What can I do to make sure that I have a fun holiday in my own country? They start coming up with restaurants, um, coming up with ideas. Or when you say, if you're a leader, a politician, your kids are not allowed to go to school abroad. Now, guess what they're gonna do? The next thing they're going to do is invest in a good education system in the country. So basically what I'm saying is, you force them to do their own jobs. Now this is something we can all get behind and support because when I tell you this is going to improve the continent of Africa, I mean it. So Gabon just announced a ban on foreign holidays for governmental officials. So if a government official, a leader, wants to travel abroad for a holiday, he's not allowed to. He has to take his holidays in the country, in his own country, which is Gabon. The reason why I'm saying this is something that we should all get behind is, hear me out here, I know it sounds bad because we're like controlling what people do, but listen, with a lot of power comes a lot of responsibility, right? So these people, when they are our leaders, their holidays are in foreign countries, their um, hospital visits are outside of the countries, their kids go to school abroad. They're not actually educating their own kids in their own countries. Why do you think that is? That is because these leaders are not doing the right thing. These leaders are not performing their job the way that they're supposed to. Imagine an educational minister in an African country sending all his kids abroad to learn, to get education. What does that tell you? What is that education minister doing in his own country? But once you start banning like holidays outside of the country, they start thinking outside the box. What can I do to make sure that I have a fun holiday in my own country? They start coming up with restaurants, um, coming up with ideas. Or when you say, if you're a leader, a politician, your kids are not allowed to go to school abroad. Now, guess what they're gonna do? The next thing they're going to do is invest in a good education system in the country. So basically what I'm saying is, you force them to do their own jobs. I don't know, I, I, that's how I'm, I'm looking at it. I know it's not always going to be the case and not everyone will take this um, approach, but I can see how this might work and benefit the country after a while. Like you start seeing change because they start to realize, okay, if I don't develop this country, I won't be able to um, enjoy the finer things in life. So let me make sure that it happens here so I don't miss out on this um, holiday or a really good university or a really good health. Now let's think about serious industries like health. We all know how many of our leaders travel abroad to get healthcare, not just healthcare, even just, um, what is it called, checkups. It's not even like that serious, but they just want to make sure that their checkup is in the UK or in the US, wherever it may be. So imagine now saying, nope. If you're a public servant, if you are a politician, what we need you to do is not leave the country to get uh, healthcare because 99% of your people can't have that. They don't have the access to it. So. We ban you. Guess what's gonna happen? They're gonna build the best hospital. And that's going to benefit the people. At least that's how I'm looking at it. Anyways, fam, let me know down below what your thoughts are about what Gabon has done and what are your thoughts on doing this in other sectors as well, like health, infrastructure, um, school, as well as holiday. Let me know down below. I am Angel Zalala. I'll see you on the next one. Stay blessed. Bye.